our 2005 Natique 210 Team Edition. We're going to show you around the boat and show you all the options. We're starting the back back here. Underneath here, you have your hard shell ballast. You got your engine compartment right here. Got an Excalibur 330 PCM. Boat is really, really nice. There's no rust or corrosion. That's your other hard shell ballast. All right, so first we're going to show you all these cup holders that you have here. You can put four drinks here. That's uh, quite a bit of cup holder space. You got a great layout here. It's real cozy, and they're very comfortable got a cigarette lighter here for those of you who like to abuse your cell phone privileges at work or while you're out on the lake. Like, you know, some people that work for me like that or people said. Um, so you could never be disconnected from the world with your cell phone. And then, that's if you're just a passenger. But if you're the driver and you want to talk and text, you got one up here too. Now, it's really important, me personally, if I was buying a boat, I wouldn't buy one without dual cigarette lighters because you might have two people who really need to talk on their phone at the same time and talk all day and there's just not enough battery life. But any route, we'll go back to the boat now. This boat's got a uh, sweet Clarion stereo. You got an amplifier up underneath the center there, we'll show you in a second. You got four Polk Audio coaxial speakers in the back, two up front. And your clarion radio is located here. Look at that, CD player. Oh, whoa, look at this. So those of you who need a third cigarette lighter, if you got three people who like to talk and text with the unlimited data package, you, you'll, be, uh, you'll be covered. Now, up under here, look at that. You got the Polk Momo Edition subwoofer with its own fiberglass enclosure. Over here you got your clarion radio controller. Up top here you got your tachometer. This is your speedometer. All your controls are right here. Or uh, gauges, the readouts, hours, everything. We're going to turn those on and show you. Give us one second here. We're It's like an airplane. We're firing up all the systems. So this boat has 182 hours on it, barely any use. That's probably because, judging by all the cigarette lighters in here, oh, there's another one right here, look at this. There's four in here. So if you had four cell phones, I, you know what, there might even be one up front, there is. So you could have five cell phones in here. Matter of fact, tell you what, just call here, see if my staff wants to go with you for a ride or hang out with you for the weekend. And you know, I could just pay them to talk and text all they want and then uh, you won't have to worry about it. You can have a great time with them. Anyways, back to the boat. We have, over here, this is your depth gauge is built in. You can change all this. You also got perfect pass. That's awesome, that's cruise control if you don't know what perfect pass is for your boat. Um, you got your oil pressure gauge, your fuel gauge, temperature gauge, voltmeter. Over here, this is really cool. This is like uh, going all Mission Impossible over here. You got your keypad to plug in your code. There's no key for this boat because you don't need it. You just plug in your code and then you hit the start button. All you, you got your ballast control here. Then you have your accessory switch, your blower. Don't forget to turn that on because if you don't, you will go boom. And over here, you got your lights, more lights, bilge pump. And you got another, uh, looks like bilge pump of some sort. And then you got your horn. <laughs> yes, it does honk. Down here is your. Uh, these are for your port and belly and starboard ballast tanks. This is your master control switch down here. This is your pull tab in the event of emergency that will come off if it's hooked to you. Your seat is pretty cool. You raise it up or down. That can get you, if you're real short, you can get up over the steering wheel. Um, the boat does not have tilt, which, oh yeah it does. Look at that. Tilt wheel. Over here is your gear shifter. Now, we're going to turn this off so we don't forget. Up front here, we've got lots of seating. 
good, good amount of area. And here's that extra uh, cigarette lighter I was telling you about up here. Ashley now has two cell phones. So she could use two of these. Seth has one. Um, let's see. Uh, we got a mechanic that actually has his own earbud that likes to talk that much on the phone that he has his own earbud. And uh, Jason, that was his name. Um, you could you could bring him along, and uh, we got someone else. I'm trying to think. I'll let you know later on in the video. But overall, this boat's really nice. It's super clean. You do have a rear view mirror. This is great when you're towing. You don't have to keep looking back. You can watch uh, for your kids or your friends. You know, if your wife is on there, you might not want to watch and pick her up. But no, I'm just kidding. Um, and then you got the Bemini top. Uh, sweet, nice shape. You got your board racks out here. Pop your boards in there, bungee them up. This boat's been really nice, taking really well taken care of, and and it's in nice shape. It's got really low hours on it. There's no rust or corrosion. It appears to be a freshwater boat. And if you have any questions, give us a call 704-799-0541. Okay. I know it's kind of depressing because there's no cigarette lighter. On the outside of the boat, so you'll only be able to talk and text inside the boat, but there's nothing inside that you should be able to do. Um, we're back on the outside, we want to show you the outside of the boat. This boat's in, in really nice shape. <coughs> it even comes with the Super Aeronautique trailer with the fold away tongue. Notice there isn't any major scratches or scuffs or chips or gains. The boat's really nice. It's in nice shape. The decals are in nice shape. You got the fiberglass swim platform. Really low maintenance compared to the teak. You don't have to worry about sanding it and putting all that teak oil on it. The prop and the rudder are in a standing shape. And the trailer is actually really nice too. It's a really, really nice overall boat. We've gone through it from front to back. We've serviced it. We've ridden the boat. You'll we'll see in the video. We'll give you a sea trial on the lake. If you got any questions, give us a call.